Well, today on Behind the Mystery, we're discussing complex regional pain syndrome, or CRPS. It's a debilitating disease that causes severe chronic pain, swelling, and hypersensitivity to touch, which typically affects the upper or lower extremities. And we'll be speaking to Dr. Amal Soyan, interventional pain management physician and researcher at the Soyan Therapeutics. But first, let's meet Donna, whose life was forever changed because of CRPS. Take a look at her story. The first symptom, um, I think, that really showed me that there was something more going on. Um, my husband and I were sitting on the couch, and we had the fan going. Just the flow of the air over my skin uh, was just causing an intense burning pain that wasn't going away. So that's when everything started to snowball. I'm from Springfield, Ohio. I've been married um, almost 19 years. We have a, a pretty active, active life. Sitting around enjoying some good old family time is, is good enough for us a lot of times. After a bunionectomy on her left foot failed to heal as well as her right, Donna began to experience persistent pain throughout her body. I started noticing that, you know, my hips and then my face and hands started being affected to the point where it seemed like every hair follicle was hurting. It was like there was thousands of fire ants underneath my skin and, you know, I would swell up and then um, I would get red bumps. And it was just really odd that all of these symptoms were happening with no explanation. You know, it was just like a constant like revolving door of various doctors trying to explain my symptoms. It was like nobody was really listening. It was really depressing because it, it made me think that it is almost in my head. You know, not getting answers from these doctors and, and, and being frustrated with the appointments is a lot mentally to deal with. I turned to social media and I had a friend actually contact me um, who stated that the symptoms were very similar to what he had and I did some research and finally when I went back to um, a particular doctor, one of my specialists, he did confirm that I did fit all the criteria for being diagnosed with uh, CRPS, Complex Regional Pain Syndrome. I was definitely happy to have a diagnosis. Um, but then at the same time from the previous research I had done, I, I didn't have a lot of hope. Here to help us understand more about complex regional pain syndrome is Dr. Amal Soyn. Doctor, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being yes, with us. Yes, thank you. Thanks sure. for having me. We just saw Donna's story, uh, very yeah. impactful. Tell yeah. us more about, and it's called complex regional pain syndrome. Uh, Tell us what patients experience with this disease. I've never heard of it. You know, it's a really debilitating disease. Uh, and it typically affects the extremities, like the hands or feet, upper or lower extremities. And it's characterized by sharp, lancing pain, hypersensitivity mm -hmm. to touch, swelling, color changes. It's difficult for people to walk, to use their fingers and hands. And the pain is way out of proportion to what you would typically imagine. It affects people 24-7. Look, these symptoms can be misdiagnosed quite often, right? Can a diagnosis be difficult? Oh, diagnosis is really hard in this disease state because most of the time, CRPS starts from some sort of injury. And usually it's a minor injury, twisting your ankle, getting your hand caught in a door or something like that. So doctors typically think, oh, this patient's still healing from their twisted ankle. Or they or, think it's all in the mind. Oh yeah, yeah, that too, right? And they kind of pass it off and it'll go on for months and sometimes years. Do we know the cause of CRPS? We think that there's some inflammation that occurs in the nerve cells called neural inflammation. We think that the nerves fire uh, pain signals continuously and, and don't turn off for some reason. And that can cause a lot of pain. Uh, there's a lot of factors that go into it. So doctor, how can patients find relief? You know, typically when a patient comes in with that type of pain, the first thing we often do is physical therapy. But that can be difficult if you're having a lot of pain. Absolutely. And even if light touch hurts, it's gonna be very hard to do. Uh, so oftentimes we try pain pills. You know, no opioids, narcotics, those, um, you know, have a lot of baggage, addiction, and tolerance, and that type of stuff. We tried nerve blocks to try to block the nerve from firing a pain signal, and more recently, something called neuromodulation. That's where we send electrical impulses to the nerve to try to make it not fire a pain signal. Doctor, as a researcher at Soin Therapeutics, I was reading here that you're currently developing a unique formulation to treat 
complex regional pain syndrome. It sounds hopeful. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so we're working with a drug called naltrexone that is currently used for things like um, alcohol abuse or uh, opioid overdose. But we've discovered that in very low doses, it has effects that could be very helpful for complex regional pain syndrome. We were actually granted orphan drug status from the FDA. And the way this works is by decreasing some of those chemical mediators involved in the disease process to decrease the inflammation of the nerves and to stimulate your body's production of endorphins, which are your body's natural painkillers. And the second thing that we're working on is a nerve stimulator, a spinal cord stimulator to send an electrical impulse to that nerve that's firing those pain signals to try to get them to turn off from firing pain signals. But what's unique about that is we've discovered a way that the nerve actually communicates from nerve cell to nerve cell. So now we can interact and interface with the nerve in ways that other technologies haven't been able to do. You know, we're actively studying both of these opportunities and you know, hopefully patients can get good results from these. So Dr. Soy, what's the ultimate goal of these therapies? You know, ultimately, we need a treatment that actually treats the disease process. Because right now, all the treatments and therapies that we have treat the symptoms. So ultimately, if we can figure out how to treat the disease state, that patient can hopefully live a life with a lot less pain. And that's what we're trying to accomplish with these two techniques. Thank you so much for your educating us on Thank this. You. And I appreciate what you're doing for all Thank these patients so much, who want to live you. pain free. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, before we go, we want to go back to Donna. She's very special to see how meeting Dr. Soin impacted her life. Take a look. So I was referred to a pain management doctor and that is how I found Dr. Soin. He said, I can help you. I, I, he's like, I can't cure, but we can see what we can do it, and make this better. Dr. Soin had brought up to me about um, a clinical trial that he was doing um, in regards to a spinal cord stimulator to try it out and see what it could do for me as a rare disease patient. I look to the future with everything. Um, so the idea of something, being able to help others, I was all on board for. You know, being in these clinical trials uh, with Dr. Soin, I just hope that this will lead to FDA approved treatments for CRPS um, down the road. That way um, others can get relief. While waiting for an approved treatment, patients continue to struggle and have been known to be at risk of suicide due to the severe pain and comorbidities of the condition. You know, I, I was very angry at the beginning. I struggled with what I did to deserve this. I came to realize through my faith and, and other chronic pain warriors that we are definitely a tight group of fighters. Um, we bond together um, through um, our day-to-day -day lives, the things that have changed, the people that we've lost. And at this point, you know, a lot of times the fight is not just our fight, it's the fight for the memory of those that we've lost. And it's a fight for the future so others don't have to live this kind of life. This journey has made me grow into a person that I wouldn't have been if I had not gotten this disease. So at times it's a blessing. You just gotta move forward and do it with others. You're never alone. If you or someone you love suspects they have complex regional pain syndrome, visit rsds.org. And to learn more about the progress of Dr. Soin's therapies, visit sointherapeutics.com. You can always visit our website, thebalancingact.com. We'll be right back.